This was a truly a great question, and that's why I decided to make a video for it. The question was, how come blue staffies and Amstaffs can have blue dogs? And the reason why that happened is very powerful reason. And the only reason why the American Pit Bull Terrier, there is a real dog and everything else is fake. And this was because the quality of dogmen that the American Pitbull Terriers always had. There's not a single bloodline, pay attention when I tell you, there's not a single bloodline based on blue dogs. There is several bloodlines based on red dogs. And there is some bloodlines based on black dogs and there is some bloodlines based on Piñata color stop it dogs, whatever you get, whatever it comes. And, and I guess a very short time, some brindle dogs. In my books, I have some explanations about all this stuff. What I want you to know is this, that the reason why they have such a powerful, real American people terriers that continue that great process of development, which you never heard this before my times, to develop their own dogs to a greater level, to develop their dogs to higher standards, to develop their dogs to much higher merits and consistency. The American Pitbull Terrier had dogmen of different levels, they're not, they're not equal, and you cannot confuse a dogman with a man that had dogs for 20, 30 years. There are some specifics to become a dogman. But those few dogmen that actually took the, their program to different level and different in different levels themselves, they always wanted to have the best dogs in the world. And the blue staffies, the blue dogs, and the Amstaffs were not part of that program. They didn't make the cut. They're a way inferior quality animal when it comes to performing. They might be a good sofa dog. They might be a good dog even around children. But then as generations went through, the dogs became weaker because there were more breeders, more people breeding them in the neighborhoods. And every time you get one of those guys in the neighborhood breeding dogs, those guys are weak. They have good intentions. They don't have no knowledge. They don't have real profound experience. Some of them read books and they think like, I learned, I can become a doctor by reading a book. My friend, gotta be in a trauma emergency room working and having success through years for you to become great at something. You understand? And being a dogman, there is no more spaces for that. Okay? You're looking at the last dogman, the last real and the most elite dogman in the, in the planet. And listen, I was at a point where I said, I'm not going to say this anymore. And, and I said this, but you know, listen, I don't want to lie to you. Check the numbers, compare it to whoever you want to, to come up with this solution. It is what it is. You don't have to like it, I don't have to like it. I paid the price to become that man. And I protect what I created. And I teach people that I'm not selling you nothing here. So I'm just teaching you, okay? And the reason why I'm teaching you is because I care about the future. I care about the young man, Chico Lopez, 18, 19 years old, totally confused at times with what is real. It took me such a long time. Nobody could have come and tell me what I'm telling you right now. You're actually blessed. You're getting from the top dog, the top man, information that you couldn't make. That makes me actually a hero. You know, helping you guys to understand this so you don't bump heads, listening to some idiots with their own opinion. And I read on this book, this guy said this. Who the hell said that? Who? What are the merits? How many dogs of the year? How many grand champions? How many champions that person create? Well, that tells you everything, folks. God bless you. God bless the real American Pitbull Terrier. God bless you if you're young, you're very lucky, you found this video and you're getting this information directly from Chico Lopez. Take care, bye-bye.